All right, today we're going to be talking about something that I think it's underrated as an update in Elementor 3.29, and that is cloud templates. And yeah, as you know, you can save your sections, your headers, your whatever you're creating on a page in Elementor as a template, yeah? But usually, until now, these have been contained to the website where you are creating the template. Of course, you can export the template at any time after you have saved it and upload it on another website, but it's not the same. With cloud templates, you actually have access to the templates from the cloud. So you don't have to do the whole workflow, save, download, upload, and add to the page. Now you can just go into your templates and you can choose the template that you want and you have saved from another website, which is fantastic. So before you ask, just know that this cannot be used by anyone else other than you because they are connected to your own account. So if you don't uh, give your account details to someone else to log in, they cannot access your templates. As simple as that. So if you have already a lot of templates saved as I have in my test website, you can select those templates and have them saved in the cloud. So you don't have to download, upload and so on and so forth. And the best part is that you can organize these templates under folders, in folders, basically. So let's say you have um, hero sections, yeah, that you have created on so many websites. Let's be honest, we create so many. Then you can create this in your cloud templates and you are going to have a folder. You can name it hero sections, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And you can add all your hero sections in there. So you know what you have in the folder i think this is really underrated and we have to really look at look at it and see how it actually works in reality how practical it is all right so i'm in my test website and i have a bunch of templates in here so let me just go to one of these pages it doesn't really matter I just want to go into templates to show you how many templates I have, which I could actually save in my cloud. So let's go to templates and let's go to templates again and let's go to site templates. And yeah, <laughs> I have no idea how many I have, but as you can see, I have a lot. Yeah. And as you can see here, we have another option. Uh, it's called cloud templates. All right. So if you click on it, you will see your cloud template saved. I already have it. I have already created a folder where I saved my hero templates, for example. Yeah, this is connected to your account. Yeah. And as you can see, I have saved already three out of 5,000. Yeah, we have we are able to save 5,000 templates. I mean, that's amazing. That's crazy. How many templates would you save, right? It's a, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Let's save a template. Let's go through the process, okay? So let me go back to my pages and let's see what we have here. So maybe this one, right? Yeah, this is good. Yeah, we have a hero section and we can go back. So let's go and save this as a template let's go back in the editor and the way you can do that is by going here to uh, this part of uh, your editor uh, where it says save options yeah and save as template and now you are given the option to either save it in your cloud or and in your site templates so you can save it in your site templates but i don't see why would why you would do that now uh since you have the cloud templates unless i could think of a case where for example you save it in the site templates on the website that you're working if it's a client's website and they want to have the template saved on their website otherwise i don't see the point anyway so i'm gonna save it in the cloud templates and i'm gonna give it a name all right so i'm gonna call it hero sections i think i have it uh, named the same the other one folders I'm gonna say it sections two and I'm gonna save it all right so this is going to be saved as a template hero sections two yeah and as you can see if you click on this icon here you can see them full on with their respective let's say thumbnail and if you want them as a list you just click on the list icon I guess this is a list icon icon <laughs> 
All right, so let's go back. And as you can see, this template I've saved here, saved here doesn't have a temp template, and I don't know why. I would be curious to understand how these are created. Anyway, so we can now create a, a folder, yeah? You can either go here, yeah, save assets to reuse or on any site in your account. In your account. It's clear, right? So I'm going to call it Hero Sections 2. Or I can just say two, oops, that's a one, create, yeah. And as you can see, we have it here. So if I go here to the hero section and I just go to these three dots, it's, you can choose between moving, copying, exporting, renaming, or deleting. So I'm gonna move and I'm gonna select cloud templates. And if you click on these three dots here, you have the option to select a folder. So I'm gonna select the hero section too, because this is what I wanna save it move and has been moved already so if i go in hero sections two it's there so let's save another one to see how the thumbnail is created i need to save one that is actually let's see what this one that has a uh, some sort of thumbnail or something like that i don't think this would be it maybe this one although if it's not static as a hero section you know what let's do it so i'm gonna go and edit with elementor and let's save it and i'm gonna call it hero oops hero section three cloud and in the folder you can na name it whatever you want give it descriptive names if you need to because that's important to you it's all about how you work for this okay so again as you can see the um, hero section 3 does not have a thumbnail and could be it could be because it's not a static picture i guess let's try another one one that has a um it's this one pentagrid oh yeah this this sh maybe should work edit with elementor and let's save as a template again <laughs> hero section 4 cloud templates and hero section you get the oh i forgot to name it properly all right let's go to see how that looks yeah it seems like a ah, okay so as i said it needs to be uh some sort of a static image or whatever on the first part of the section or section uh, i cannot be uh for example uh gsep effect that template uh that has a scroll trigger on scroll yeah or on load anyway i think you get it and i think this is amazing and absolutely useful and i'm curious how uh, we can utilize this uh to the next level in the future anyway so this is what i saved uh from this website in the cloud now let's go to see if this are accessible on another website all right so i am now in another website this is my studio website where i sometimes do stuff in the background so i have created this cloud templates page and i'm gonna go to it so of course i had to test this and this was a previous test yeah let's go to templates here yeah let's go to templates let's see what we have and as you can see we have our sections here yeah so how cool is this right so let's go in our sections and let's see i think i'm gonna insert number no let's go with number four so i'm gonna add this to the page and let's see how it works apply okay all right so as you can see of course it didn't carry over the styles uh the global styles and everything because templates don't do that but nevertheless it's here <laughs> as a template let's let's try another one sorry i'm using an older version of lenny's on this page and it's a little bit off i'm gonna add another one and this is going to be a number let me see which one is it hmm. could it be section three yeah i think we're gonna go with section three insert that's why it's important to have actual thumbnails to see what we are inserting and what we are working with yeah okay so this is it because otherwise it's going to be a little bit confusing. Imagine if you have so many hero sections. Yes, first of all, you have to give them descriptive names. Or maybe name the or add the website where you have created it. Because over time, you're going to have so many created and added to the 
sections and to the folder to, to the folders that is going is going to be impossible to manage mentally and then you have to yeah make sure that you have a, a thumbnail that actually shows what that template is about yeah so i think so far that is my main issue here not having template uh, templates did i say template again thumbnail you don't have a thumbnail to um see what that template is about <laughs> so yeah that is my main concern here not concern but like yeah i would love to see that but other than that i think this is absolutely fabulous you have no idea how many templates i have exported and imported and exported and imported over time i have so many json files on my computer it's crazy this is going to save us so much headache and the workflow is a more simplified so i think this is will go very well hand in hand with a new version of Elementor. And I think it's pretty exciting. Let me know in the comments below what you think, what you would want to see this have or what you don't like about it. Give us all your feedback. And who knows, maybe in the future Elementor will somehow create an opportunity for us to be able to monetize these templates because let's face it, that would be fantastic for people like you and I that who will create all these templates. And people who actually do not have the time, but would like to invest in some amazing templates. So who knows? We'll see what will come. Hopefully Elementor watches this video and, <laughs> you know, we need this feature. Anyway, if you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.